In the good old days of music sales, there was nothing more fun than browsing the CD section at your favorite music store. During these years, physical media stores reigned supreme. Physical media stores operated in every mall at least three or four times over. These stores sold vinyl, 8-track, cassettes, and of course CDs. There was competition between these stores, yet prices in mall stores seemed high and selection was always limited. That's where Record and Tape Traders came in. Record and Tape Traders was a small physical media store founded by Kevin Stander and Stephen Smolin. Like with other physical media stores, Record and Tape Traders sold the newest hot releases at comparable prices. But that's where the similarities end. Record and Tape Traders also focused on selling used CDs for pennies on the dollar, CDs featuring local artists, VHS and DVD sales both new and used, specialty media like Laserdiscs, and varied merch including band posters, incense, t-shirts, even colognes, perfumes, and lingerie. Record and Tape Traders was also one of the very few media stores that I knew of that still regularly sold vinyl throughout the 1990s when records were considered archaic technology. Record and Tape Traders also served as a Ticketmaster outlet alongside Hex department stores. In the pre-internet days when you wanted concert tickets not sold on site, these were your best options. Record and Tape Traders were also known to have live performances from well-known bands including Local H and Crack the Sky, as well as showcasing a great deal of local talent. And with several colleges surrounding the store, it was the perfect place for teens and 20-somethings to shop for music both new and old. The Towson flagship location was not exactly located on the main road, so it was easy to miss if you weren't looking for it. Customers had to go around a grocery store to find record and tape traders and a small set of courtyard shops behind it. This never hurt the store though because everyone in town who knew good music knew where record and tape traders was located. Because of the used music sales model as well as their wide selection and reasonable prices, record and tape traders was able to operate nine branches across the Baltimore area, including a store in Charles Village, Catonsville aka Music City, Maryland, and even Rehoboth Beach, Delaware. Record and Tape Traders was a great success, thus a danger to my wallet for a long time. The Towson store expanded in the late 1990s and took up almost the entire block of storefronts in its flagship location. But by the 2000s, changes were on the horizon. Whatever your opinion on Napster is, it is safe to say that the increase of consumers downloading pirated music was becoming a major issue for record labels to tackle. Changes to how music was sold was being addressed and tech companies were introducing new ways to combat online piracy. When Apple introduced iTunes in the early 2000s to Mac and then eventually PC users, digital music had become legal and easy to download at the same time. People were able to legally buy new music without leaving the comforts of home. Unfortunately, this was hitting CD stores hard, as downloading music either legally or illegally was becoming commonplace among listeners of this era. 2007 was also a worrisome year for the economy, as the United States was mere months away from plunging into the Great Recession of 2008. Retail as a whole was hitting tough times, as many consumers had stopped spending as much. I'm not even going to interject my own personal feelings here on the quality of new music hitting the shelves in the mid-2000s, but I will simply say that new music was not inspiring me to spend my already minimal income on new CDs. Thus, by year's end, the original owners of Record and Tape Traders sold eight of their locations to Value Music, which was later acquired by Trans World Entertainment out of Albany, New York. Transworld Entertainment converted Record and Tape Traders into one of their own brands, sharing the stage with stores such as FYE, Suncoast Motion Picture Company, Sam Goody, among many others. By 2010, Record and Tape Traders essentially just became another FYE. It wasn't all bad for the struggling chain though, as Record and Tape Traders was able to push vinyl sales during the great vinyl comeback of the 2010s. Record and Tape Traders also focused on carrying DVDs and Blu-rays of many different varieties not easily found in other electronic stores, especially live music concerts. But by 2018, with streaming movie services such as Netflix and streaming music services like Spotify drastically changing how we take in our entertainment, brick-and-mortar music stores of all kinds were hitting their hardest days. 
FYE stores by this point generally sold only one or two shelves of CDs, a small rack of DVDs, and maybe a back corner with some vinyl. Mostly the store has been holding their own selling Funko dolls and gift items. You might not find the new Metallica CD here, but you sure can get a box of Bootios. Don't hate, I love the new day. FYE stores of all brands across the country were struggling to hold their own in a tough retail environment. The chain was shutting down locations one by one. Many hoped the record and tape traders would buck the trend due to their legendary past as a music retail staple in the Baltimore area. But even that couldn't save the sinking ship. Transworld Entertainment announced that by 2019, after over 40 years in business, record and tape traders would shutter its Towson flagship location. One year later, the once sprawling storefront stands empty, awaiting its next tenant, whoever it may be. If there is one thing for sure, though, there is no way they will be as cool as what stood there before them, record and tape traders. As of 2022, I am pleased to let you know that there have been new businesses that have taken over the old space of the Towson record and tape traders. We here at Retail Stories wish them the best of luck.